Hello YouTubers, Larry here, WD0AKX, and I have a Heathkit HW8 here, a QRP radio made for CW only, um, and I'm going to do a modification to try to improve the receive sensitivity somewhat on it. The original device that they used for the front end transistor uh, is an MPF 105, and that's not suited uh, very well for uh, the design they have. A better choice would be an MPF 102 or also uh, I've been told a 2N 4416. I did have a 4416 on hand and tried that but I think uh, my 4416 is a bad device. Uh, it just made things worse. But I do have some MPF 102's and they're quite common around the parts uh, in your shack a lot of times. Uh, in your parts bin you may have a 102. So I'm going to replace the 105, MPF 105 with an MPF 102. I'll show you where that's located on the board. From the front of the radio, look inside and right over here. This is the front end transistor. It's uh, black in color, has three legs on it. On the board it's labeled DS and G, stands for drain source and gate. It's an FET type transistor. FET, field effect type transistor. So that's the designations on the board. So we want to remove this device and the device I'm going to replace it with looks just the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and swap it out with the other device, the MPF 102 instead of the 105. So let's go ahead and we'll turn the board over. Now this is looking from the front right side of the radio. The device is down in here. Now an easy way to spot it from the back side is to put a bright light on the back side of the board and it helps you to see where the traces are on the back side. But let me go ahead and turn it over. And you'll find the legs will be right in this area, right here, here, and here. It's kind of hard to see on here probably, but you'll see some lettering here on the board and it's right to the left of that. So you'll have to do a little research from the top of the board to the front, or to the bottom of the board to find where these legs are. But we want to go ahead and desolder those. So I'm going to take a little solder wick here. And if you're not comfortable with soldering and desoldering, you should find a, a buddy to do that for you. But if you are, that's great. And I'm just going to remove the solder from the legs here of the device so I can remove it from the board. And this is how we do that. Here we go. And I don't take any responsibility for your radio, of course, if you goof something up. I'm just showing you how I am doing it here myself. Flip the board back over and reach down to remove the device and there it's out of the circuit. So I'm going to take and put this back down in place of it. This is the replacement device here. Okay, I put the new device in and I'm going to resolder the legs of the new FET transistor back into the circuit here and I put it in the exact same way I took the other one out and I will want to snip off the excess legs there and there we go all done let's turn the radio over and we'll hook it up to power and see if we did any good well there we go I got it hooked up I've got the FET changed out just trying it out on the bench here yet before I button it up I'm probably gonna do some more mods to it uh, several so I may be posting those at a later time it does appear the Receive sensitivity is a little bit better here. I've only got it hooked up to a 10 foot piece of wire just on the workbench. So I can't tell very good and I got a lot of interference around here. But uh, 
that's the mod so uh, good luck if you give that a try it should help you out a little bit that's a common receiver modification for these radios and uh, once again the part is located I don't think I mentioned it before but it's Q1 is the designation on the board uh, right there Q1 is the designation you can see the Q1 there so that's where it goes thanks for watching and enjoy the HW8 radio kind of a fun radio to play with